Hello everyone, welcome to Teach Tech. In this new video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a web application in the WebLogic server. First of all, start your WebLogic server and do login. After you log in, you can see the lock and edit button on the top left corner of your screen. Click the lock and edit button to modify, add or delete items in this domain. Now, after clicking lock and edit, go to deployments from here. On this deployment, you have to click install. Now you can choose your application file. For now, I'm going to use a simple WAR file to deploy our application. Here, you can now navigate your WAR file from this bar. This is the sample WAR file that I am going to deploy for now, h plus minus symbol dot WAR. This is a simple WAR file of our web application. Select the WAR file and click on next. Install this deployment as an application. Click on next. Now here, you can choose which security model you want to use with this application. DD only means use only roles and policies that are defined in the deployment descriptors. You can leave it as default. Click on next. Yes, take me to the deployments configuration screen. Click on finish. Now click on activate change. Web application has been deployed. Let's look at if uh, the application has been successfully deployed or not. Go to deployments again. Uh, the health is okay. Go inside the WAR file. Go to control. Select the application. And now click on start servicing all requests. You have selected the following deployments to be started. Click yes to continue. Click yes. So the start request has been sent successfully to the selected deployment. Uh, you can see status active over here. Now uh, to find the URL for this application, go to testing and you can see the test point if the successful deployment is there uh, if the application is deployment deployed successfully then you will get the status active and now go to testing this is the test point or the url click on this link you will be diverted to a new tab but as you can see the ip part is in other form change this ip part to localhost as we are deploying the application to the localhost, now hit enter. You can see your web application is successfully deployed. We have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please do hit the subscribe button so that you can never miss an update. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.